Okay, this is a quick trip I made up to Scout Moor Wind Farm, which is the largest onshore wind farm in England. Uh, it's got 26 turbines and a total capacity of 65 megawatts, with a typical production of 150 gigawatt hours per year. Um, it lies on some high-lying moorland in Lancashire, close to the town of Rochdale. Um, it was built, well, construction started in 2007 and uh, was completed in 2008 and was very controversial during its construction, but uh, um, the environmental impacts have perhaps not been as severe as were originally felt. And, however, it is quite dominating, and the turbines are visible from close to 30 to 40 miles away, so um, in terms of its visibility it's quite overpowering. Okay, we've uh, now started the climb up towards a scout wall. As you can see, it's quite a nice day, but the ground is still very boggy and very wet. And you can see the sort of typical moorland that we're going to have to be facing on our trip up towards the summit there. see the turbines just towering over us even though they're still in the distance, probably still close to a mile away. You can just see we're getting closer to the summit. And in the background there you can just probably just about see a little tiny baby one just spinning at about ten times the rate of the others. Quite windy, we're getting very close to the summit. You can just hear the wind whistling past the blades of that monster. Some interesting uh, warning signs here. Danger of falling ice particles. Maintain safe distance. Well, I, th I think uh, we're already past that. Um, but here we go. We've got some bike. Gee, do you hear that? Didn't sound good. Okay. 2,500 kilowatts, rotor diameter 80 meters, height of hub above ground 60 meters. And uh, there's this sort of rather dramatic, sort of military grade door here padlocked, all sorts of various guards and stuff, danger of death, no admittance, warning, turbine guard, this detects illegal activity, quite an ominous sort of warning there, so uh, we better not try any uh, illegal activity, gee, didn't sound good at all. Well here's the base of the turbine, you can see um, all the bolts holding it to its base, and, uh, I'll show you this, but uh, if we get really close, these are just plastic and they just uh, pull off some sort of corrosion guard. You can see the uh, bolts underneath it. Don't want to undo those, so uh, we'll stay well away from that. But uh, as we sort of pull back a little bit, you can see it's uh, quite uh, imposingly misty, this. sort of whistling as blades run past. And the whole thing, the whole machine has this sort of sort of little rumbling buzz to it and if I were to uh, put my hand up against it there's a sort of gentle whirring, a bit like a sort of washing machine. So it's like it's sort of alive and you can feel its power.
of wildlife and more. Ovines. Ah! No, not going to make any noise. <laughs>